You know, I make all sorts of different kinds of videos on this channel, and it seems like um, you guys are the uh, best resource ever. So, here it is. Uh, let's see, late spring, we'll call it. Not quite June. And you can see, i got this little guy sitting right there. There's a brown marmorated stink bug. Nasty things, I hate them. They're not really a nuisance as far as they don't eat my wires or anything else like that. But... On occasion, I will actually find one. Now, that might not be a big deal in this inverter. By the way, I'm actually redoing my inverter completely to try to get it to use less energy working on that. But anyways, so these little guys, uh, you know, not a big deal if one of them's crawling around, I guess. But let's say that it dies right on a MOSFET or something else like that and it's bloody guts spew all over and short out a MOSFET and take out the entire inverter. It does happen. I have seen this actually happen. And, um, yeah, it's uh, something uh, I need to deal with in this room, in this workroom. They're coming out. They're going to be out for about another month, and then we won't see any until the fall when they start coming back. And so... Are you guys out there aware? I did a little bit of Google research to try to figure out if there was any sort of, um, you know, one of those uh, bug zapping lights or whatever that I could throw in here. Um, uh, but I don't know what else I could do because I really don't want to have some light bulb running that's, you know, I'm putting all this effort into making this inverter more efficient. I'm just going to waste it on a, a bug zapper. Um, you know, I, I can do things like fan filters and stuff, but you can see all the little holes and crevices and just about everywhere. You could put tape on that, which I'll probably tape some of this stuff up. It doesn't really need to be open, but even still, my fans don't run all the time. Putting fan filters on there is okay, but there's so many extra parts that they can get through. And I don't want to, honestly, I don't want to block all this stuff off because that's part of the whole cooling process um you know even though my lid fans are pulling air out the top that's great but it's also pushing air out of here i don't know maybe it's like a pc where it doesn't really matter as long as i have in intake and um you know outtake or whatever but i don't know what do you guys think i i just i can't afford to have one of these stupid little idiots dying inside my inverter or coming into contact with something it doesn't like that zaps it and spreads its juices all over and shorts something out so uh i don't anyway so if you guys have any real ideas i've seen a lot of try this try that do this stomp a bunch of them and then they'll stay away or keep a bunch of them in a jar and then they'll stay away I have seen all of the different ideas, and I keep hearing, oh, that's not the answer, that's not the answer. Well, who does have the answer? Does anybody? Maybe there's no, nothing I can do. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again. Ugly thing. And take care.